What's up, internet? This is Robert of uh, five more minutes. I'm in the middle of a of a hike. I just finished uh, an overnight uh, with some great friends. They're still down there. They're gonna go the other way, and I'm still climbing up uh, this wilderness right here, the Cucamonga. Anyway, I'm making this video because I was tagged first by Matt Dunn of uh, Lead Me Outdoors, and uh, I was tagged again by. S sorry for you know not making the video right away. Uh, I apologize, Matt. And then after that, I was tagged again by Justin Williams of uh, Round uh, Rock Hound Hiker uh, and Pilgrimage, uh, California, um, to make the, this video uh, about five things that you don't know about me. Anyway. I uh, apologize to everybody for waiting for this video. I was so busy for the last four or five weeks. The classes started already and you know it's band season. My daughter is so busy we need to you know. So now I'm trying to have a banana. I decided to make this video. I got no distraction except for these bugs all over me. Anyway yeah five things that you probably don't know about me. First one is uh, I'm a Filipino, born and raised in the Philippines, and then, uh, yeah, I grew up there. I came here to California 10 years ago. Uh, I was petitioned by my mom, so I brought my family here, and uh, yeah, we are having this new life here in the United States. I grew up there. It's a, it's a different environment. Uh, my childhood uh, goes around um, doing things like going to the river, going to jungles, forest, camping. I joined cab scouting, boy scouting. And then uh, probably my most uh, influential figure is my grandfather on my mom's side when uh, he brought me to... Uh, um, a sacred mountain back in the in the Philippines where I uh, grew up. It's called the uh, Mount Banahaw. Mount Banahaw is uh, like a it's, it's like a drawing, a backdrop behind my uh, our house where I live used to live. Uh, we went there when I was in third grade, and from then on, I love the outdoors. You know, I, I begin to to uh, think about going out and staying outside, and you know, going to the the river, explore the area, uh, going up hills and do things like that. So yeah, probably that's the, the, the first one. The second one is, uh, what line of work do I do? Probably people might ask since I'm a Filipino. Um, I think it's a common perception that Filipinos come here in the United States and they, they were, or they are nurses. Or work in the hospital, some sort of uh, like that. And uh, no, I, I'm I am not a, a nurse. I, how I wish I, I'm a nurse. You know, they make good money. Anyway, in my family, there's so many nurses. You know, my sister, my nephew, my nieces, my my cousins, my my aunt, uh, some uncles. They work in the hospital, but not me. I'm uh, afraid of blood, and I don't like the smell of uh, the clinic or the hospital, things like that. So I I, uh, I work in the uh, in a manufacturing company where we uh, we make product that deals with uh, oil and gas. It's located in the city of uh, Ontario, like 15 minutes away where, from where I live now. Uh, yeah, I, I like it there. I work as a final quality uh, inspector, and I'm also a video inspection uh, machine operator. So we make O-rings, we make uh, composite. Um, parts for uh, oil tools for Baker company and Halliburton companies things like that we send the uh, product all over the world and all over the United States uh, yeah that should be the second one okay uh, the third one should be um, with regards to to my help I had I have some uh, health issues right now uh, as far as I remember, I did a hike last October going to Whitney with some friends. 
and after that I was I was struggling going up that was the I think the fourth time I did it but that was a, I, I had a you know I, I felt like I was uh, out of shape that time and then after that I felt some some pain on my chest and then uh, believe it or not the pain never goes away it's still here <sighs> sometimes uh, I carry 35 almost 40 pounds of pack and it's, it's not a uh, it's not fun you know so I went to my doctor last March and April they gave me so much tests they initially they found out that I had a uh, enlarged heart it's kind of big based on my age and my build the size of my heart is kind of large so they gave me so much tests that I need to uh, uh, stay out of work for a while and then um, on the last test that I did they put me on a treadmill to find out what's going on and then a few seconds after that after hitting the hundred percent hundred sixty beats per minute they put the wires and took a picture of my heart I can see the four bulbs pumping blood one of those four bulbs were leaking blood the doctor initially said that that is not good but for now I'm not in, in grave danger you know I can still do whatever I want like hiking or backpacking but um but the pain never goes away it's still here I feel the pain right now I'm resting a little bit yesterday I was carrying 25 pounds I think right now it's below 20 which is good I carried you know real food pork chop rice heavy stuff bacon egg so but now I feel fine I feel okay I still feel the pain but I can tolerate it so that's why I always carry my uh, in my pocket I always carry my, my a medicine that the doctor prescribed me it is a uh, it is called uh, trig nitro nitroglycerin he said that uh, you know whenever I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack hopefully not I just take this and uh, five out five minutes after I should call 911 why would I do that I mean I'm okay I feel I feel okay I feel good every time I go out I feel good you know I feel cleansed and energized and I feel the pain but who cares okay number four okay I just recently I had a opportunity to sign a contract with uh, with Michael the owner of the panfishingrods.com I hope I said it right uh, it's a company that make the pen rod the pen fishing rod that you can you know uh, use that they have a backpacker models they have a, have a um, uh, different kind of models they do uh, they make a um, uh, real bait caster uh, different kind of things about for, for fishing so I had a opportunity to sign a contract uh, I may not make money but you know for a start you know if I make video about penfishingrods.com uh, uh, simply using the uh, the rod go fishing and whatnot I may get some free stuff but which is it makes me happy you know makes me makes me like um, proud you know uh, at least I'm a very small channel but I was able to you know get one like this like a small contract with a uh, penfishingrods.com which I'm really grateful thanks Michael uh, that's number four uh, okay the last one should be uh, uh, some of my close friends or hiking friends or backpacking friends they know uh, how old I am right now but for most people whenever I, I tell them they see me they talk to me on the trail I tell them uh, oh I had I had a I have a son who is in college that is true I have a daughter and a son again uh, who is in high school I have three kids anyway it's about my age uh, believe it or not I was born in December of 1967 so I'm 51 by the end of the year I'll be 52 just a truth so I'm an old buck and I'm an old guy so for some people at that age could be a grandpa already uh, not yet not me so yeah I'm, I'm 52 years old but you know as I've said I feel great I feel good I can still climb, I can still hike, which is I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. 
because th those are the things that I love to do getting out here and then uh, yeah uh, pretty much uh, that's it I hope you you enjoy the uh, the things that I've said uh, if you like the video or if you like my channel um, please consider subscribing and uh, that would be a big help thank you so much for um, supporting the channels to all my friends to all the family to all the people that I uh, cross path with you know uh, thanks to all of you guys uh, without my subscribers this channel won't you know progress or move forward so thanks a lot so yeah I need to go I need to finish this hike this is a yo-yo hike I came from I South Saddle Canyon Trailhead went up Saddle went down Comanche went down to Third Stream Crossing and meet Jason a very nice guy and Hector the birthday boy happy birthday Hector and uh, yeah so I need to finish this so until next time guys thank you so much bye bye oh I forgot about that Oh, by the way, before I forget, I need to tag at least uh, three person, three uh, um, YouTubers uh, to continue this um, challenge. First, I want to tag um, Mike Hebert or uh, um, Lab to Wonder. Mike, uh, you're the next one. Hopefully, you will accept the challenge. And then, uh, secondly, I want to tag again. Um, he has a great channel, he lives in the East, uh, Craig Dweller. Um, hopefully you will up, uh, accept the challenge too and then the, the last one will be Alan <laughs> Pero uh, hopefully you'll get your new camera and you will be able to do this even for a short one I know the people are really looking forward of you know a lot of people your, your life is an open book but we want to hear more about you so hopefully you will accept the challenge thanks guys and uh that's it. I need to go.